Therefore, I now hold before you life and death. Choose life. We have the same spirit of faith. Not just faith, a spirit of faith. And this spirit says, if you believe, you've got to speak. Are you ready? I'll just put it in here, then we go to our next scripture. Remember Deuteronomy 30, when God spoke to Moses to talk to the children of Israel about life and death? That's the portion of scripture that you've got to look at. Deuteronomy 30. God says to Moses, go tell the children of Israel, today I hold before you life and death. You don't have to go to heaven to get it. It's there. And it's quoted again in Romans chapter 10 verse 8 through 17. You don't have to go up to heaven to get it. You don't have to cross the seas to get it. You don't have to go down to the abyss to bring it up. But this thing that I'm holding before you today is in your heart and in your mouth to speak it. Therefore, I now hold before you life and death. Choose life. No, half of you didn't hear, half of you did hear. Let's see if we can get the full I hold before you today life and death. You don't have to go to heaven to get it. You don't have to go to hell to bring it up. You don't have to go over the seas to find it. It's close to you. In your heart and in your mouth. To speak it. So I hold before you today, he repeats it a second time, life and death. Then he ends the chapter. Choose life. You'd be stupid not to. So if I choose life, how do I know I have chosen life? If I believe, I speak. For Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And he that uses it shall eat the fruit thereof. Oh, holy God in heaven, help us today to get the revelation. He says, if I believe, I speak. And what I speak, I'll get the fruit of that tongue. What fruit? Death and life. Can we have put all sorts of doctrines in that speaking? The context there is life and death. One day, when I get to heaven, when I die, When we meet again. When I see Jesus. So people are talking death. That's why people are still dying. So there must come a generation that says, We believe this is the day that the Lord has made. They rejected him as Messiah. Now he is Savior of the world. And if I accept him, I have the power to become a son of almighty God. And if I have this power, this will be my rejoicing. I will live and not die. And because I believe it, I'm going to speak it. Yeah. 